Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know it's less than three months from my last video, so that's exciting. Um, we're making progress here. Um, I got a very exciting package today. So exciting and I can't wait to share. It kind of gave me an idea to do a video, full face. Dragon Beauty. I know, I know, it's exciting. Now, Dragon Beauty hasn't launched any like foundation or anything like that, so. I won't be doing that, um, obviously, but like the rest of the products that I have, full faced Dragon Beauty. So let's get started. Her five new uh, liquid lips, the liquid lipsticks, and then I also got the um, lavender color corrector. I already had the orange one, but I know she like. Uh, by she, I mean Nikita, keeps saying that it's always best to use them together, so I thought I would give that a try. So I am using the Marc Jacobs Undercover Blur Fection Primer, not only to hydrate the skin, but to fill in your pores, because when you fill them in, it looks like you don't have any. <laughs> so like I said, I already had the... Uh, Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. That is the orange color corrector. I already had that when I, when she first launched these two products together in the Dragon Egg, yeah. which I needed apparently. Now I'm gonna go in with uh, Real Techniques Small Sponge and go ahead and blend that in. Okay, so I let that dry. That looked crazy. Now I'm going to open up my Dragonfire Dragonfire Lavender Color Corrector. How exciting! <laughs> Ooh, so pretty. So I don't want to get the tip orange, so I'm going to just like keep going in, get a lot of product, and tap it on there. So I know with the orange one, a little goes a long way. I'm not so sure about this one, so that's kind of why I put it all over the place, but here we go. The Real Technique sponge, again, well the big one this time. Yeah, so I already see it lightening up for sure. Oh, that thing is covered. My little blemish I had there is covered. But because I can see some orange still, I think I want to go in with some more lavender. So let's just get that more covered up. I don't know if you're supposed to use that much, but why not? Okay, well I definitely see a bigger difference now that I put more product on. It definitely evens out that orange tone. I think we're gonna move on because it looks pretty good. 
I don't want to keep messing with that blemish there because then I don't want to uncover it. So I think we're going to move on. I'm going to let that sit and I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use the um, Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Brow Pencil. This was that one I got in the FabFitFun Summer Box, so I will do my brows and I will be right back. I will use my Dragonheart Transformation Face Powder to set my eyelids because we can do that. It's a brightening powder, but I actually, I mean, it's a powder, so why not? So the eyes are all prepped for some eyeshadow. So we know she doesn't, she, Nikita, Dragon Beauty, doesn't have eyeshadow yet, but I saw that she's working on launching her first ever eyeshadow palette. So that's exciting. Um, since that's not out yet, we're just going to do... We're just going to deal with what we got. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't get to certain things. I need to clean my vanity because I can't get to this palette that I'm trying to grab. Look at my vanity. It's all kinds of messed up. Anyway, this one has more neutral tones. The Sippin' Pretty palette, which is so dirty. Dip it into Close the Tab, which is this like coppery brown here. And pre-game, which is this lighter brown here. And I'm just going to go ahead and work that into the crease there. Oh, very pigmented, so take the excess, put it on the other eyelid, and just kind of fluff that in there. So, yeah. I know we're starting off a hot mess here, but we gonna fix it. <laughs> this is horrible. I'm just gonna blend that out. Blending, blending, blending. And do it to the other and do it to the other and do it to the other. Okay. Oh my god. This is a hot mess. So I'm gonna take that um close the tab color again, that brown, and I am going to put that in the outer corner, and just work that in there, then buff it out some more. Okay, so I've never really used this um, one here, this uh, shimmer here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And 
put it right on my lid. Wow, that's really pretty. It looks very like dark chocolate brown kind of in here, but on the eye I'm getting more of like a bronzed look, which is not really what I wanted, but I'm here for it. It's fine. So I'll kind of keep that focused on the center here because I'm going to do something a little bit lighter from the inner corners. And do it to the other side. I got some on my dress. I'm going to blend that outer corner in a little bit more with the shimmer. So the shimmer looks more centered. And then I guess on the inner corner, I'll do a little bit gold. Yeah, that looks nice. It kind of goes like a lighter gold. Into like a darker gold. So that's nice. I'm going to use this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the color Light Beige. That's number three. Um, I did three pumps. Hopefully that's not too much. And we're just going to work it into the face. So now oh, I'm going to conceal and I'm going to use um, my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer for that. And we're just going to go right in the corner there and right in the corner here and just drag it out, drag it out. And then you can, like I said, clean up that, clean up that eyeshadow, which is what I'll do. And then just to be more um, precise, I will go in with the smaller Real Technique sponge. I'm going to take some of that same concealer and put some right on the center of my forehead here and down on my nose Hip. Just kind of dragging it near those areas of my brows because I don't want I don't want to blend too much into the brow. So I'm gonna bake under here on right above my jawline. Just kinda I guess I'll use my sponge. I haven't done that in a while, but it picks up more product for sure. It's 
so we'll leave that there to bake and then we'll do the other side as well now for the rest of my face I will well, I guess I'll bake right under my eye too just to kind of hope that I set that concealer in but just right under the lid not all the way down because like I said earlier I'm very porous in this area so if I were to put powder there it would really dry it out and accentuate my pores and I don't want to do that so we'll keep the powder right under there and then with the rest of whatever's in the top I will just go ahead and work into my face to set my foundation So I was being very careful not to touch this or right underneath my eyes, but still setting in the rest of my face. So I'm going to use that same dense brush that I used to deepen up my corners. So I just put a little bit under my waterline there, and then I'm going to take um, the lighter gold color <clears throat> that I was using and put that on my inner corner waterline just so that it kind of reflects what I did up top. And we'll leave that right there. Okay, so back to Dragon Beauty. Now that we've finished the eyes and most of the face, we are going to go in with the Dragon Beauty Face Pressed Powder Palette. As you can see, she's a fave of mine. So, um, I will start with Femme, right here, the lighter um, bronzer for warming up the face, and I just kind of put that along all the areas that I want to contour and having that bake line right there definitely helps you to stay where you want to stay and then with the darker color surge I'm going to just draw out my jawline a little bit more and deepen up that cheek contour right there and right there of course i'm going to blend that out but i just like to draw it there so i know kind of where i'm going and then whatever excess i just use to deepen up the temple so i'll just go ahead and keep blending that out a little bit more into the hairline and if you get makeup, you know, on your hair, you could just use a makeup wipe to kind of wash it off and blend out that jawline because you don't want a really harsh, dark line to be seen when you go out. Or in my case, when you're filming a movie or a video. So there we are there and now um, I usually use this BB girl pink blush but just because it kind of goes with my outfit I'm gonna go ahead and use that tea girl I was thirsty. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and use that tea girl. Kind of go on the top of my cheeks, uh, the top of the apple, and go up the bronzer line. Just 
kind of marry the two there. Same thing with the other side. Definitely gives some color and some shine, like I said. Even though it looks like it's just, you know, sheen on the face, there is actually glitter reflect on there. You could see it. Um, but not so much on the face, so that's good. And then, um, we'll do a highlight. We will go in with silicone here, this gold one. So usually when you're highlighting, you just want to highlight the areas of your face that you kind of want to pop out. I like putting it on my cheeks, and I just feel like since I have like bigger cheeks too, it just works. And then I put a little bit above my brow bone. Um, I'm going to use Femme here again to contour my nose, so I just kind of take a setting brush and I squeeze it a little bit to make it more dense. I have a dense contouring brush around somewhere but I can't find it so we will just go with what we have. So because I have more of a bulb at the bottom of my nose, I kind of like to round it out with the bronzer and that makes it appear smaller. And I'll take that same highlight I was using on my face, silicone. Um, just with my finger here and put a little bit right on the tip. Okay, there you have it. Um, now I am going to take off that excess setting powder with the same fluffy brush I was using. Go under. Okay, so, um, one last thing for Dragon, no, actually, I totally forgot the, the lipsticks. So. That'll be the last thing, but before I do my um, eyeliner and lashes, I am going to brighten up the face. We'll take that same brush I was using to contour my nose, and I dip a little bit into um, the yellow and a little, and then a little bit into the pink. And then I just go in and brighten up those areas on the face that I want just brightened a little bit more. And you see it works like instantly. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyeliner and my lashes off camera, and then I will be right back to dig into these lippies. So, just a sec. Whew. Okay, I'm back, and... After poking my eye a quadrillion times, um, which is why it's all red and stupid, um, 
I don't know why that always happens. It's always my right eye too that always just gets super messed up and watery and like seriously, I don't understand it. But anyway, I also lined my lips with a uh, brown lip liner. It's a Kylie lip liner. It might be brown sugar or candy. Um, it's so little now, I don't even know. It's brown sugar because I see it says sugar right there. So brown sugar. Um, so I'm opening up my Dragon Glass liquid lip and I'm in between now. I feel like Nikita, which is this mauve pink one here, would look really nice with my eyes. But I feel like Horchata would look really good with my dress and my lip liner. So, I don't know. Let's see. Um, there's Horchata, which I think I'm going to go with that one. And then here's, yeah, oh yeah. Nikita right next to it so yeah I'm gonna go with horchata <laughs> and I'm so excited I've been waiting for so long for these liquid lips and they're finally here um she wasn't kidding with like a little goes a long way wow I really love that color so there you have it there is horchata liquid lip with brown sugar lip liner so pretty so that is it for this video freaking out about my eye um, if you want to see the rest of the lips, the lip colors, go check out my Instagram. Like I said, I'm going to make a reel on Instagram so you can see the rest of the colors. And thanks for uh, sticking around for and watching. Thanks for sticking around and watching my full face of Dragon Beauty. And I can't wait till she launches some more stuff. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.